Hello everybody, it's Bets Golden. I am coming at you today with a tutorial on how to make those cute little pin clips that you see people on that have on their planners. Uh, we do have to talk about the ever so important but kind of boring topic of glue today. Glue is not glamorous. We don't really like to think a lot about it because it's not the fun part of crafting. However, it is probably the most crucial part of what we do. And I wanted to share with you something I found at Creativation. It's called Super Tight. And the name alone just got me to walk into the booth because it's so funny. But as I went in there, I really liked what I saw because it's not, I don't want to say it's toxin free because I don't know that, but it doesn't have the odor and some of the chemical -y smells and things like Amer glue is, that is uh, made in America and sold in America. This actually is sold in Europe and they have a tighter regulation. I'm kind of big on the not putting toxins and chemicals into my home and I don't like to breathe it. I'm pretty sensitive to like cleaning products and things. I use an all natural alternative. So when I found this, I was impressed and I've used it a couple times and I'm pretty impressed with it. So I'm going to keep experimenting with it. But for this particular project, you do need a glue that is going to dry fast and is strong. So that's what this is. And this is their instant super glue. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this out of the little container here and get it ready to go. I know it's it's not fun to talk about it. So it comes with the seal and if you just take the bottom of the of the lid, it'll punch on right through and give you that little hole. So I'm going to go ahead and seal that up for now cuz I don't want it to leak and I don't need it quite yet. All right, so we're going to make these little clips. This clip and these elastics are from the July, uh, January 2018 Planner Society kit. And I'm going to make mine from this pretty one right here. You can find these elastics pretty much anywhere. If you have a hair tie, you can, and you like the design of the hair tie, and you think, oh, that would be cute in my planner. You can go ahead and use that, just trim the edge off and make it out of that. You can also make this with a glue dot as well. I prefer an adhesive though. My glue dot tends to make it a little bit more bulky. So what we're gonna do is the purpose of this is to wrap around your pin and you hold your pin on the top. So you're gonna want it kind of tight. So this is the hardest part, is measuring how tight you need this to be and getting the right measurement. So I'm gonna say that I wanna cut it right there. So what I'm going to do is I want to carefully try to get it as straight as I can. And I'm just trimming it like so. Yes. Okay. Some people fold the edges in to give a nice crisp look. Every time I've done that though, I end up with it not looking as good as if I would have just not done it. This has a nice tip on it. Really, really nice thin tip. I'm just going to lay that glue right there. It dries clear, which is absolutely fantastic. Push that down to the base of my clip. And then I just line that up. And I push it down with anything I can use as a poker, though it got stuck on my poker. I'm trying to get that lined up really nicely. Okay, looks like that's good. And then I just adhere the other side the same exact way. So I take the other side and I just boom. And then it 
So there's another glue that is out that's th basically, it holds just as strong as it's not as quick. So for, for me, this particular project, and then it just makes sure it can hold, and there we go. And there, that's how you do it. That's how you make this little clip. So easy, right? So once you get it down, it's pretty simple. But a lot of the importance comes down to using your glue. I may use, they have a metal glue out I might use on the next one, but what I do like about this is check out, check out this tip. It's super fine, so this would this is great for, and I needed it fine. I didn't want a whole bunch of clumps on that. So I really like that, and I do like it that it's fast drying. I can move quick, which is what I wanted to do. It's not, I mean, it's not going anywhere. So now I have a cute little pin holder for my planner. So that's how you make your pin holders. Okay, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to find you answers if I don't know and get back to you. Have a wonderful day. Happy crafting. Bye.